Okay, so hopefully this is really quick. This video is about automated personalization and a big tip to extract more value out of it. Um, one of my customers I was working with today, we we're looking at some of the automated personalization activities that, they're, that they run, and I noticed that they weren't grouping the offers in, in, uh, in, in what that means. So I'm gonna jump through some examples. So this is automated personalization, uh, one of the activity types in Adobe Targets, form, the former product Touch Clarity. And you know, I, I have a video coming up where it dives deep in, in terms of what it does. But as you add more content, to each one of the different um, within automated personalization, all of the experiences get here, depending on if you're using one location or two locations, but uh, this example is using two locations. So all the possible combinations of the different pieces of content are within there. And you can actually kind of see, I'm using this area on our homepage and I think another area down here. Um, let's just do it for demo purposes. Oh, it's right there, the about button. Um, so all those experiences go within here, but then all the possible offers you can put them into different groups. So I was QAing something here, but you'll notice here the report group is unassigned. So within here you have different options. You can, you can edit the audience for it, but you can create a report group. And what this does is it helps automated personalization associate learnings from other similar offers that are from that particular group. So let's use United Airlines as an example. Uh, I'm a United guy, so I'm familiar with um, their site and all the different things going on within there. So here you can see they've got a credit card offer. And let's say for automated personalization, they had four or five different credit card offers, or they're adding a new credit card offer uh, to automated personalization. By putting it into a new group, using that example, credit card offer, um, and, and apply that, what happens is as you add more content to this folder, the, the, the random forest models within automated personalization associate those learnings. And so it, it helps that new offer um, or offers within that particular group share those particular insights. And so it, it, it was fascinating. It's, it's kind of like a best practice with automated personalization to associate report groups uh, within um, you know, similar offers. Uh, but this particular client um, put the report groups in place, organized everything, and then saw like it went from a, a conversion rate lift of, of, of 7% with you know, full confidence uh, to 9%. So just in a couple weeks time, the, the models were able to kind of take advantage of the shared learnings. And so um, the, they're going to continue watching it. I'm fascinated by it. I could be continuing to watch it. But it was a nice reminder for me to just put this together, quick video, that if you use automated personalization, one of the best things you can do is, uh, is, is kind of create a report group for all the different types of offers. And then the other thing you get with part of this, let me just assign this to uh, the report group as well. Credit card offer, apply that within here, done. Next, next, save and close. So you can also get your reporting by these different report concepts. So let's wait for this to quit to finish syncing. There we go, I'll come back, reports. Okay, there we go. I wish they would do this. I, I know two years is kind of ridiculous, but let me just do the last 30 days, save. So here you can see in this automated personalization, you've got your control versus targeted, but it, it does it by report group or offer group. So you can kind of see uh, the reporting uh, stuff in, in context with that. So there you have it. Quick tip on automated personalization.